All right guys, so in a previous video, I talked a little bit about null space floating and what it was and how you could use it to adapt the robot's joint angles. In this video, I'm gonna show you a concrete example of where I needed to use null space in order to reorient the robot's joints for it to perform certain tasks. As you can see, I have the robot now oriented to grab the cups from this direction. And the idea is I'm gonna put dispensers here to get drinks and I need the robot to come in from the side. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and play this routine. And I want you to pay attention to these upper joint angles. Currently you can see it's angled kind of back toward me, right? And like the, the uh, elbow is back toward me. So what I want you to do is watch as I reorient before I go to get the drink over here, such that the joint is now that way. Why did I do that? Well, I'll show you why I did that. All right, so what I've done is put the robot into free drive mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the switch here and I'm gonna move this robot as if I'm gonna come over here, get some liquid from a dispenser. Maybe I'll come over here, get some liquid from a dispenser. Notice how I'm able to move this robot linearly across in front of this table with no issues, right? Now, why is null space important here? Well, when the joints were in the other direction, that wasn't possible. I was hitting joint limits, specifically on joint five here. So let me go ahead and turn null space on and reorient the arm to show you what I mean. All right, so I have null space turned on such that in free drive mode, when I pull this switch, I can reorient this joint. So now I'm gonna come back, so now it's coming toward me, right? So this is where it was after I picked up that cup with the joints and the elbow being backwards toward me, this is where it was. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock the XYZ of the world origin so I can do those linear movements and show you how the robot's not gonna be able to do those same movements that we just did. All right, I've unlocked the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Let's go ahead and put it in free drive mode. And oh, nope, I can't, it's, it's not letting me, it stopped. I can't come any more this direction. I can come forward, I can go that way a little bit, but if I wanna come over here, and grab something over here, I can't do it. It's not possible. But if I take this and push it over there, it is possible. So let's go ahead and test that. So now I actually have the XYZ unlocked and null space floating is turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, hold it here and push, push the elbow backwards. So I have XYZ unlocked and I pushed it back over there. With it over here, I can now move this all along where I couldn't go before. So you can see that by enabling null space floating, I can just say, take the robot and say, you know what, the elbow can't be over here. I need the elbow to be over here in order to, me, to allow me to make these movements to get where I need to go. So reorienting the elbow into different locations is why null space is so important. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel to check out more videos of this robot and more videos to come where I show this robot making some actual drinks.